leaving the Wendover arm today. Wendover Arm, it's been so peaceful, such a beautiful spot, and it's on the silver propeller, so that's another one. Check. drone shot because look at this the destruction that Rufus has caused still not quite used to the drone so we put him inside so he was running up and down on the sofa and everything better clean it So you'll recognise this one coming up. It's naughty last. So the keen-eyed viewers might have noticed that we've turned right out of the Wendover arm, which means we're basically going back the way we came down the GU. That's because there's a little water point just outside under the next bridge. So we're gonna go do that, then spin back round, and then carry on up the GU. It's up the GU, but it's down locks. So I up or down? <laughs> I don't know. Made it to the winding hole in the water point. Amy's got us a cracking brew. Time to wind for water. Second rotation of the day.
too far today. <laughs> Turning around and we're going back up the GU. I think we've got about six locks quite close together. And then we've seen on Google Maps, it's a really cool spot. And I really hope we can moor there. If not, we'll have to go further, but fingers crossed. It looks really nice. So before we came down and that way down to the Wendover Arm. Now we're going down this flight to carry on up the GU. One down, five to go. The nice easy locks as well, they're very gentle. We realised that these are the first locks that we've gone down, we think, since we came off the River Lee. You made a new friend at that lock. Yeah, I love stacking so much. Are they better than this one? I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, Rupert. We're going down the Marsworth flight at the moment that takes us all the way to the junction to go on the Aylesbury Arm. It's really pretty around here. The clouds are a bit grey but it's nice and just quiet and naturey. Lovely. These pounds are all really full, they're slightly overflowing. Even when we're taking water out, they're still flooded over the lock gates. So I think Amy's going ahead to try and manage the water and let a little bit more of it out so that we don't flood that poor cottage at the top of the light. It's quite nice as well because there's a few gongoozlers along this flight and we've not had them properly in ages, not really since Camden. But even then it's just because people just happen to be there. Whereas on a towpath like this, it's a very welcome sight to just see people just interested and having a laugh and asking me questions. Really cute. Amy's managed to lower the water levels a bit so the path's not flooding. <laughs> Now we're going through, but it's raining. My tea's getting diluted by the rain. You'll have to stay in here because otherwise the camera's going to get wet and then it will start going all <laughs> being annoying. That was so difficult because of the rain and the water levels. The pound was overflowing onto the path, and all the pedestrians were like, ah! So I had to run and empty this lock a little bit so that the water kind of up and the sun's come out and the rain stopped <laughs> typical but we're at Tring Reservoir and it's lovely to see it from the boat but this hill kind of stops that but it's still very nice <laughs> so there's three big reservoirs right near us this one is straw straw top send reservoir the next one along is marsworth reservoir and right where we were before is tringford reservoir and i think they all help to feed the canals
Rufus is grumpy because there's people outside and he's having to be inside next to the fire on this horrible, horrible bed. Mm. Mm. You're absolutely fine. Very successful cruise, just getting warm and dry. Some pasta cooking. I'm going to play some more puzzles. I'm going to sit on the floor though because thanks to this guy, the sofa is wet for maybe having to clean it earlier. We <laughs> just spam through the dialogue. We just spam through the text and wait for the puzzles. Oh yeah! Cheers. Easy, easy. Oh, I dropped it. watching the next episode. Anyway. It's the same view I've got here with. It's the same view I've got here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was a bit sketchy though. <laughs> Careful. Got a better view down there. <laughs> Easy. This route is muddier and more thin than we thought. Oh. Rufus has got a four wheel drive, it's cheating. Pulling me over there. Rufus steady. I am grateful that he does seem to be avoiding the mud. Good boy, Rufus. <laughs> He'll pull you over into it, but his paws will be clean. So slippery. So it's only half a mile to Little Tring, which is where the end of the Wendover Arm is, just down there. So we did a massive loop around the reservoirs on the canals yesterday, but actually, it's just there. Shaking. They're doing some work on one of the reservoirs, the CRT. Um, doesn't close the navigation, but they just said it might get noisy. So they were right. Okay, buddy. You're nervous. I'll be fine. It's a sad day today, isn't it, Amy? Yeah. We've come back to Abingdon, but not for an exciting reason. For the dentist! Because <laughs> if those that remember, one of my wisdom teeth was impacted on its side last year when we were here and I got it removed and now this side is also 
completely on its side and needs to be removed. I'm nervous. But it's all gonna be fine. We caught it a lot earlier than last time, so it's all gonna be good. It's just a shame that the reason that we're back in Abingdon is to <laughs> go through that again. <laughs> well, the Thames is flooding and it's very fast. Glad we don't have to go on it. That little bench there is where we first blew up Condor. Don't fancy going on it now though. No way. It's in. I'm leaving her to it because I think it's easier for her to just be with the dentist without me being there. So I'm going to go work in Costa for a bit until she's ready to come out again. Oh, I hope she's okay. She was really nervous. She's done. She's out. Hey, guy. It was worse than last time. Was it? You've got blood on your top. <laughs> oh, come here. I spent the next week in bed mainly eating mashed potatoes and painkillers. But thankfully, this spot gave us one of the best sunsets we think we've ever seen. Look at the sunset. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Big shout out to the Chip Pals on Patreon and to Anne and Steve and Laurie for the chips this week. And also to Lee for the super thanks. Thanks guys. Check us out on our socials for even more boat time and we will see you next time.